Hey guys, what's going on? Got another uh, Jurassic World review. It's week two of Jurassic June, and uh, I'm getting burnt out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not really fun when you spend like hours of your life recording and editing videos only for them to get six views. It's not the best feeling, but today's video would get actual views because we're looking to look at something that's actually interesting. We're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Hammond Collection, Metriacanthosaurus from the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Assortment. I, I don't know. We're looking at the Metriacanthosaurus from the Hammond Collection, so if you are excited, let me know by leaving a like, leave a comment, and let's get right into this review. Hey guys, we got the brand new Jurassic World Hammond Collection Metriacanthosaurus here taking a look at today. Definitely an odd pick and an odd release for the Hammond Collection. Um, this is a Jurassic Park dinosaur that was never in Jurassic Park. Now let me explain. This is our first kind of what if Hammond Collection figure because in Jurassic Park, you can see that Metriacanthosaurus is one of the genomes Nedry does steal in the film. But we never do see this creature in said film. So it's kind of like a, ooh, what if there was a Metriacanthosaurus in Jurassic Park and this is what it would have looked like. But it's even more peculiar because there is official Jurassic World Metriacanthosaurus renders and art that was used on the Jurassic World website. It was a creature that existed in Jurassic World, and there's a clear paint scheme that exists for it that's been used in supplemental material like the video games and even toys. But this one does not have that coloration. Instead, it goes for something original. It's like a, what if the Metricanthosaurus was in Jurassic Park? Who knows? It's a cool figure, I'll tell you that. One of the best Hammond Collection figures so far, I'll say that as well. And other than the odd choice aside, this is a fantastic figure that I can't wait to get out of the box. Speaking of the box, it's your usual for the Hammond Collection. You got the embossed T-Rex logo, Jurassic Park, 30th Anniversary, Metriacanthosaurus. This is one's from Britain. We got Hammond Collection, windowed box with our Metriacanthosaurus there. The side of the box says Hammond Collection. And then the back of the box has a nice render of the figure with a Jurassic Park logo. This is our second medium-sized Jurassic Park figure, the other one being the Triceratops. But it's it's not really in the film. But it says, Metri you got a picture there, you got Nedry stealing the embryos, and it says, Metriacanthosaurus. After shutting down Jurassic Park security system, Dennis Nedry makes his way to the cold storage room and secretly steals the embryos of the Metriacanthosaurus, as well as other dinosaur species. So that's why it's got the Jurassic Park logo. I would prefer to Jurassic World coloring, but I do really like the colors on this guy. Like, it's a great figure. Don't get me wrong, it's just like, why did they do this instead of the more obvious route? <laughs> and then we got the render there of the Metric at the source with the Jurassic Park logo. This figure does look really good, and I'm really excited to get this one out of the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this guy out of his plastic housing. I love buying something, waiting months for it, and then it arrives and I unbox it, and then it's defective. One of my favorite things ever. It's easy fix, thank God, but let me go ahead and put this tail on here so I don't have to hold it so I can show you guys the lovely quality control on this Metric Anthosaurus. So you might think, oh yeah, this looks fine. I got the tail snapped on. This figure, oh my God, it does look so good. Oh, this does look so good. I'm so happy with it. Other than the, the effective, um, the ankle. Do you, do you see anything wrong? Do you see anything wrong? It may not be apparent at first, but you see, you see this foot here. 
you see this foot here you see you see the joint see how the toes down here how it should be all right now let's look at this foot yeah <laughs> yeah that's bad it's easy i just gotta heat up the joint pop it out i gotta have to pop the foot and the whole joint out it's gonna suck but it can be fixed thank god but uh, otherwise, I, this Mitri Canthosaurus looks great. I'll just I'll continue on with the review and then I'll, I'll fix it later tonight. But um, God, this guy is great. I love this guy. He might be my favorite of this assortment. I thought the Irritator was, but I got this guy in the box. And golly, he is fantastic. There's the Metria though, out of the box. And this thing, this is actually surprisingly my first Mattel Metria Canthosaurus. I never picked up any of the other ones. I thought it was ugly, because it is. Not the dinosaur, just the sculpt. This one is beautiful, and it's very good-looking dinosaur -y creature. Beautiful detailing on this guy. Just take a look at the head sculpt. This thing looks like a carnivore. You got the nice eye. The pupil is left unpainted, but we do have that darker brown. It's just a cost-saving measure. I don't think it looks very bad. The teeth are very nicely individually painted. Look at how sharp they are. They're very serrated looking. Got like a dark brown and then a mustard yellow moving down we got this dark brown and then this cream color and it continues on all the way down to here the tail is nice and long that sounded wrong <laughs> but no this guy's got paint on all the claws except you know the dew claw but when does has mattel ever painted that this guy is wonderful very like wide and girthy which is what i want in a theropod i don't want a skinny slender looking guy Unless it's supposed to. Metricanthosaurus is a bulkier carnivore, so it does match that bulkiness, which is super duper cool. The figure is fantastic. Articulation is going to be good on this guy, and the paint just looks so good. Just look at this guy. Look at him. I didn't mean to sound so negative about the. I just I get frustrated when I get a QC issue. Like that that Alan Grant pushed me over the edge a little bit. But this guy is great. I already 10 out of 10 right here. <laughs> Maybe 9.5 for the QC issue, but that's that's my personal figure. Articulation on this guy is great. It's your standard Hammond Collection fanfare. You've got the jaw that's articulated. It'll close. And look at that. Ooh, if I fiddle with it more, it'll stay closed. Look at that. And it's two joints on the jaw, so the bottom jaw and top jaw will move, giving you some awesome roars that you can do. The head will rotate. It's got a couple of joints here all throughout, so you can rotate it. All that good stuff. Good, good range of movement. Really love these arms. These claws are different on each hand. The arms will move back and forth as well as out. I did that backwards. It will move out and then back and forth. And then you've got elbow articulation. I think that wrist articulation that they gave the concavenator was a one and done. But look at the different hands on this guy. This one's got a wide splayed hand while this one's got a more closed hand and this is our first figure to do something like that all the other ones just kind of mirror it on both sides so we've got unique hands which is awesome underbelly looks great you got your jurassic world logo here there's articulation on the legs the legs will move back and forth they will move out there is ankle joint or knee joint here that'll move back and forth and rotate all that good stuff you got ankle joint here and then the foot does also rotate and all that fun stuff and i actually if you may have noticed i fixed the leg it took me about an hour but i used a heat gun and we were able to pop this joint and then this joint off of the leg it took a it was a pain i'll say that but it the leg is fixed and then finally you've got this standard tail where it will rotate and it is rubber so it will bend so pretty cool that it's got a lot of articulation on this figure. Go ahead and move into some comparisons. So I don't actually own any of the original Metricanthosauruses that Mattel did, but I'll throw up a picture real quick. What I do want to compare it to is this Concavenator. I feel it's a pretty similar comparison, these two guys. This Concavenator was from the last wave. It is our only medium-sized theropod to have wrist articulation, but these guys are fairly similar. Uh, they might actually have some reused parts now that I look at them. Not sure. They're definitely different. 
All of these hammock collection figures, it's hard to tell with all these joints, but these guys do look really nice next to each other. Ceratosaurus up there is another medium-sized carnivore as well, you can see him. But no, this Metricanthosaurus does look good. Let me grab a human from Jurassic Park. Who are we going to grab? It's going to be one of these guys, because they've done one non-Jurassic Park character. We'll just go ahead and grab Ian Malcolm for the sake of comparison. I don't have Nedry yet. He would have been cool to have for the comparison, but Amazon really loves to delay my pre-orders. So uh, he'll be here in like a month. <laughs> it's better than the young T-Rex that'll be here in October. So there is the Metricanthosaurus next to a human figure. Overall, this is a great figure. I highly recommend it. Did I enjoy having to fix the leg? No, it was a pain, but we got through it and the leg was fixed and I didn't have to return the figure, which is better than the alternative. But no, I definitely recommend this Metricanthosaurus. If you can find it, definitely pick it up. This whole wave has been phenomenal. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, let me know down in the comments. We're going to go ahead and move into the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video with this uh, Hammond Collection Mike through Canthosaurus. If you have enjoyed, let me know down in the comments below. Tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at something a little more chaotic and effective. It's Chaos Effect. So uh, if you have enjoyed, let me know. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.